Hey guys, Sarah here. So this video is going to be all about clutch number 70 in 2020, which was between two classics that were het for Carmel and Motley and possibly het Golden. Uh, for those of you who would like to learn more about Golden, I did a more deep dive on that. I will put it in a card above and in the description down below so that you can watch that video and learn a bit more about the morph. Uh, it's actually one of the rarest morphs out there right now, and uh, we're really trying to produce more of them. Travis Whistler actually did produce more of them this year, and I'll go over all that in the other video that I link. Um, I really hope that you enjoy this video. Definitely watch to the end because the end is actually super cute. Uh, I just love these little baby snakes and they are the most adorable thing in the world to me. Uh, also, if you would like to learn the all of the details about the golden gene, uh, even though I went over some of it in the morph deep dive video, I also have a book that I go over all of the different corn snake mutations. Uh, it is on my website, sarahsnakeshop.com. I will also link it down below. If you use code GOLDEN1, uh, I will give you $3 off of any book purchase on my website. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everybody, so this is Clutch 70. Uh, I took the moss off the top. Uh, this is from two classics that are het for Carmel Motley and um, possibly het Golden, uh, for those of you who have been following the Golden Project. Uh, the reason that they're discolored is because of the moss. The moss leaves that stain on them. But um, they are some beautiful, beautiful eggs. I, uh, I'm, they're very large. I don't know if you can tell just by like me holding them how big they are. That they are at 66 days. So I think um, I'm probably after after the thing that happened with the last clutch. I will probably cut these eggs um, with at the very least within this week. Um, it might be a little early to cut them now, especially since a lot of my clutches have been going to like. 73 days. I don't want to wait. I don't want to cut them like a whole week early or anything like that, but I'm thinking that once they hit 70 days, we're going to do that. We'll see. Uh, crossing fingers that we actually like hit golden. Uh, this was the clutch that possibly uh, produced goldens for me last year. So uh, I definitely know that they're het caramel motley and um, I believe that they're het golden. So hopefully we will get some goldens in this clutch. Hey guys, I'm back and uh, it is day 69 for this clutch and we have some breathers. I was very excited when I woke up this morning. Um, this one over here had just started to breathe and now the majority of them are. It looks like there's only four eggs that aren't breathing yet. This is uh, the possibly het golden to the possibly het golden clutch. They are also het caramel and motley so there's a lot of different possibilities going on um, but I think this one in the back here is looking quite gray, quite possibly goldenish. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. I know it's really hard to tell and the lighting isn't very good, but once they all come out, I'll get pictures of them and we'll see, we'll see what everybody is. I'm hoping that we do get some goldens in this clutch. I got some last year that I'm pretty sure were golden. So, um, we're going to hope that we get even more. As you can see, I did cut all of the eggs. Um, before recording this video and uh, I didn't want to have an issue like last time where we lost some because they couldn't get out um, especially as I might as I mentioned in my uh, egg cutting video I didn't want um, especially this project which has a lot of potentially rare outcomes to uh, fail because of uh, not cutting eggs. Um, we can strengthen the bloodlines later but first we have bloodlines to we have to have bloodlines to strengthen so um, my thought on that is I'm just going to go ahead and cut eggs. Look at that cute little, I think that's a normal, that's something weird coming out there. I'm very excited about this clutch. I'll come back later when more of them are out. Okay, we're back briefly with slightly better lighting. Uh, looks like so far we have one, two, three, four normals. <laughs> Some of them kind of look like they have a little bit of a motley pattern. But um, they, as far as I can tell, none of them are actually Motley's. They're not all out yet. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that we get more than these uh, Notly babies, which are like not Motley's, like sort of semi-looking Motley's, but not Motley's. I mean, they're very beautiful normals. Um, I was hoping, of course, for the possible golden results and maybe even some caramel. I'm a little... Uh, it's kind of weird to me that we haven't even seen a caramel yet. I don't think that this little one here is a caramel. Uh, at first, I thought it was because it's a bit lighter, but maybe, maybe not. It seems a little bit too red for that, so I guess we'll have to wait and find out, guys. 
Okay, we're back. A few babies have come out uh, of their eggs and I've put them in containers already. Um, it doesn't look like so far we have anything super special. Um, this obviously is a classic and um, I've put X's on all of the egg shells that look like they're also classics. You can't see this one, but this one's also a classic. Um, and this one over here I think is actually a motley, but it hasn't completely come out of the egg yet as you can tell. So. Um, it's actually looking like we're not going to hit golden this year, or even caramel, which is very strange to me. Some of these might be caramels. I'll have to wait till they shed to, to see what they look like. Um, but normally the caramels are pretty obvious out of the egg compared to the normals, and this year we just didn't get that super obvious, oh, that's a caramel. Um, or the super obvious, oh, that's definitely not a caramel or a normal. Uh, probably a golden type of thing, which is, like I said, it's unfortunate, but it happens. Um, we just didn't hit the statistics this year. Uh, this is the same pair as, uh, the ones that produced golden last year, and, well, I don't think, I just don't think we hit it this year. I guess we'll see. We'll see once everybody comes out, but, um, I do not see, I do not see any hope of golden this year, unfortunately. Okay, we're back again, and I think this might be the last video that I record since we can pretty clearly see the babies, uh, that are out. We obviously have one motley. Um, we didn't get any other motleys in the clutch, and these two that are still in the eggs are definitely not motley. Uh, and we did not get any goldens. We might have gotten some caramels. I can't really tell if the ones in the eggs are caramels, but, uh, they're definitely not golden. They definitely all have, uh, too much red to be golden, so. Uh, unfortunately we did not hit our golden this year. Um, I know that the parents have these genes because I bred them last year, but sometimes you just, you know, you don't get good odds. So. But either way, I'm not going to be super disappointed. Anytime a baby hatches healthy, I'm happy. So uh, that's where we are with it. I might keep some of these babies for the project because um, if if they carry golden, which I believe they do based on the babies that hatched last year, then um, they are a 66 possibly het. Uh, so that's pretty good odds. And I think that I might keep, you know, maybe like two males, three females or something from this clutch for that. So... Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Somebody's angry. Is it you? Yeah? Oh jeez. Scary little baby. Oh, I know. Look at how scary you are. You just came out of the egg and you're scaring me to death. You're too pretty to be scary. Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be like this? Oh, well... I guess we're just going to have to love you anyway, because you're too cute not to love, right? Baby snakes are so funny. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's put you in an enclosure, huh? Feisty feist.